Christmas. Bah humbug, Ebenezer Scrooge would exclaim. The hype, the cost, the expectations to smile, and the giving of gifts, hoping that they'll like it. Then there is the letdown, the de-escalation from the hype, the returning of gifts, the thank yous you send, and those cursed Christmas lights. What comes up must come down. Bah humbug. What do these things have to do with Christmas anyways? And either the answer to this question is nothing, or it has everything to do with our joy, or lack thereof. When news of Jesus came to the shepherds tending their sheep that first Christmas night, it was news of joy. Luke tells us in this gospel account that an angel of the Lord approached the shepherds and the Lord's glory shone around them. And the angel said, fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. You see, our joy is rooted and grounded in the eternal. It's defined by a Savior who came and died for all people. His gift of forgiveness not only penetrates our dark lives with light, but it bubbles over into our emotions and through our conduct so that we display it with an exclamation mark during the Christmas season, albeit with lights and gifts and smiles and wassailing. Okay, maybe take it easy on the wassailing, but you get my point. If the Christmas season has no root in Christ, it will not be a joy, but a bitter humbug, an empty farce, and a hypocrisy. May this not be you and I this Christmas, my friend. For us it is joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let her heart prepare Him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, our Savior, reigns. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.